Greta Thunberg has become an international figurehead for raising awareness about the, the existential threat that global warming poses to the human species. She's an interesting choice of a figurehead. Choice, I believe, is the wrong word. And that's exactly what I want, kind of, want to talk about today, which is why has Greta Thunberg, a teenager from Sweden, become the international face of this movement? And I think the reason for that is, is really quite simple if you look at it from the perspective of archetypal psychology. The problem facing us with global warming is incredibly complex because what you've got is all the direction of commerce, all the, the powers that be, all the vested interests, not just of the powerful people, but of everyday people, of every middle class person, of every working person. We all have a vested interest in this system which seems to be inexorably drawing on towards the cliff edge where we're all falling off of. So it's, it's a very complex problem when viewed from the psychological, sociological, economical point of view. On the other hand, the problem is really quite simple. If we don't do something, millions or billions of people are going to die and this entire civilization is going to fall apart anyway. So when you look at it from that point of view, it's very simple. And so you've got the two sides of the problem, very complex, very simple. And the reason why Greta Thunberg would be the person to come to the fore with this is because she is a fantastic image of the divine child archetype. She's a, she's a teenager, she's an older teenager, so she is well spoken and she is more mature but on the other hand she has the she's very childlike and you see that when if, if she's been sexualized there's something very uncomfortable about that and there's something very off-putting about it almost because she's she's such a symbol of, the, of that childhood she's archetypally she really represents a child in the collective consciousness in in the way that the the media and the people per perceive her and it's whether they disagree with that or not that's generally the the vibe she gives off and so i find that that's a that's a really interesting thing to look at there is why would a child be the perfect thing to symbolize this and it's because the the child sees things simply the child sees things with fresh eyes as we've seen in other episodes when we're looking at the divine child so she sees things with, with fresh eyes and simple and the, the child is the ask the naive questions of why this, why that, why, 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 and just ask the questions which are almost infuriating to an adult who has accept, accepted the status quo, who has accepted the complexity of the world, and yet they must answer the child and they must give a good response. And so for Greta Thunberg to bring that eyes of, of innocence in some sense and for asking questions and making complex things simple because it's necessary sometimes for them to be made simple. And it's also the idea of the child as the inheritor of the future. So that's another obvious reason is that like she is part of a generation that will see the world um, run its course while our generations have let it torch, have let it, have let it burn in some sense because of, a, of an inertia, an inability to, to curve the inertia of our, of our capitalist and expansionistic growth. So you have those two aspects. And that's why it's, it's, it's much more suitable for someone like Greta rather than someone like Al Gore. Now you might say Al Gore is behind the scenes putting in the money, but why doesn't he work psychologically as a figurehead? Because he seems like part of the problem. He seems like, okay, you're an old white dude who's ran for government. You were going to be president. You know, you're, you're entangled with the, the power structure and we might question your motives. Whereas Greta, it's very hard to question her motives. She doesn't seem like someone who wants to be famous. It's, it's just that she feels so earnestly the, the crisis that's coming and she can just simplify that for us. And so she's the perfect way of symbolizing it because we might say, oh no, but this, but that, but this. But on the other hand, she goes, you're destroying my future, but also you're just destroying the world for your children and your grandchildren. And quite possibly for yourself, you might be around long enough to see this, this world crumble and even if not, what if everything you've built is going to go to nothing? Is that something that you really want to see? And so she's, as the, as the child there, she's the perfect um, symbol of that movement. And that was my thought for the day. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe, 
Uh, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments if you have any thoughts or insights. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.